You are watching the first review video on this Takara Tomy Jurassic World figures. So let's get started. Are you a dinosaur yet? Subscribe to become one now. Hey all dinosaurs and fellow boys and girls, I am Dan and today I am super excited because we have six brand new Takara Tomy Jurassic World figures. So let's get right into it. Okay, first let's take a look at the Indoraptor. This is the front packaging. It looks fantastic with the Indoraptor right here with the volcano erupting right at the back. Some articulation at the bottom right, blue at the bottom left, and the Jurassic World logo. And this packaging is actually super cool. If you flip it over, you can see this, which looks like another cover with the Indoraptor and a close-up shot of it. And at the other side, you have the standard Takara Tomy NEA which is the Animal Adventure box look. Just have a comparison with this. This is the standard look. And here you have this beautiful picture of the Indoraptor. At the side, you can see the entire overview of the team. And um, I will be reviewing the Owen and Pteranodon figure this weekend, so stay tuned for that. At the other side, you can see the Indoraptor with the articulation. Um, with this blue glow, which looks fantastic. Okay, time for us to start unboxing. I'm gonna use a box cutter. Please do not use this at home by yourself. Have your parents to help you, okay? Okay, I'm cutting it now. Okay, all right, let's open this up. I'm very excited. Nice. So this packaging, it's actually, um, you can actually Pull this um, flap up so that you can actually display it in store. You push it into those metal rods to hang it for display. So you can actually do that as well at home. Wow. Does it come with a card? Because usually each animal adventure figure will come with a card. Oh, I'm actually disappointed they didn't provide a card. That is a pity. Okay, but that's fine. Let's take a look at the Indoraptor. This looks fantastic. Wow. Okay, plenty of articulation. Um, the face sculpt at first glance actually looks like a T-Rex. Do you guys agree? I feel it looks like a T-Rex um, from the side, yeah. Hmm, not the best detailed as I would have expected from Takara Tomy, but still looks brilliant. You can see some nice scales at the bottom. The stripe right over here should be golden in color, so somehow Takara Tomy has painted this in like, um, what do you call this, like beige color with some red dots so this is not exactly very accurate but that's fine one two two points of articulation on the tail you can move the legs nice claws this is actually pointing backwards you can't move the arms and they are actually soft and flexible you can move the jaw okay so that's the indoraptor for you some nice spikes right over here um, the Indoraptor actually has some feathers at the top of his head, so this is not being reflected on this figure. So, to be honest, this does not look like an Indoraptor to me. But that's fine. Let's move on to the next dinosaur. Next, let's take a look at the Stiggy Moloch. This is a brand new species from Takara Tomy. They've never produced a Stiggy Moloch before, so this is the first ever Stiggy Moloch. Similarly, wow, 
close up shot of the Stege Moloch. It is nicknamed Stege. Okay, let's open this up. Using a box cutter. Please do not use this at home by yourself. Let's pop this open. Let's just have another look. Maybe it really comes with a card. Maybe I missed out on it. Let's just double check. Um, this is not a card. This is actually a card board. So there's um, the flap. And here's Stiggy. Okay. Wow, Stiggy looks fantastic. Okay, I think I know why. Because the Indoraptor is actually slightly glossy in the movie, which is why they have painted this with a slight gloss. And Stiggy looks more matte with a matte finish and it looks better to me. Wow, Stiggy Moloch looks fantastic. Wow, take a look at the face. Brilliant details and paint drop right over here. You can see all these spikes of thorns around the head. Awesome stuff. You can see some nice patterns. The scales are of different sizes, as you guys can see. Some smaller ones right over here. The legs can be moved. Beautifully done. You can see some skin folds right at the bottom of the jaw. Very nicely painted. I love this so much. This definitely, in my own opinion, looks better than um, the Indominus Rex. Two points of articulation on the tail. You can rotate it. You can shift it up and down. Brilliant stuff. Beautiful. The Sticky Moloch. What a beautiful figure. This is definitely a very nice figure from Takara Tony. Alright, let's move on to the next figure. Next, let's take a look at the Lizard of the Mills River, the Mosasaurus. Brilliant. Similarly, it has blue at the bottom left. Beautiful illustration. And this one has the jaw wide open as compared to this one right here. Blue glow as well, so I'm cutting this open right now with my um, box cutter. It is a pretty old box cutter. I need to get another one really soon. Oops! The tail actually came off. I think this is done on purpose because it is actually very long. Yep, I think this has a longer tail than the older Mosasaurus. Let's assemble this. Okay, um, come on, use some strength then. Yep, there you go. Beautiful tail, looks brilliant. This tail is super huge as compared to the older one. Wow, nice. This is not bad. I love it. Um, the eyes are actually pretty small. Huge jaw. And some really nice texture on the skin. Beautiful. You can't move the flippers, which is a pity. But you can move this tail. This blade like tail. So you can actually swivel it ar around. Beautiful. Okay, let's have a comparison with the older Mosasaurus. Okay, this is actually a three-pack series. We have the red, um, red Tyrannosaurus Rex and um, this, this is called Turquoise. Turquoise Velociraptor and this Mosasaurus right over here. So, let's have a look. We will need to compare the Velociraptor as well. This set actually comes with a background. But we are not reviewing this set. We are just doing a comparison. Okay, let's have a comparison. This definitely looks more polished. But this one looks cute. 
his shiny glossy surface. Um, the face is actually more cartoonish looking as compared to the Mosasaurus. Um, more slender, I think it is more like um, aerodynamic. This is definitely... Um, it looks slightly overweight to me, what do you think guys? And this definitely has a larger and more beautiful tail. This tail looks like a one of a fish. So I actually like this a lot, but right now this is setting um, yeah, some new standards for a Mosasaurus figure. Looks brilliant. Love it. Alright, let's move on to our next figure, okay? Next figure, let's take a look at everyone's favorite Velociraptor. Blue! Yes, Blue, it's um, brilliant. I've actually watched a movie and Blue is playing a huge part in the movie. But I'm not going to review any spoilers. Okay, unless you guys want me to do like a spoiler review of the movie. Okay, do let me know. So let's have a look at Velociraptor Blue. Wow, looking very, very good. This looks brilliant. Okay, let's move the legs. Okay, move the legs, very tight. So you just have to you know, push it once and it will become slightly looser for you to have a um, easier move. So the tail, similarly to other dinosaurs, two points of articulation can rotate it, but you want to match this blue to the other end of this blue line. And in case that you guys do not know, this is very accurate. Um, blue has one side of his face with this blue stripe across the, um, the eye, and the other side just ends right over here okay so it's not balanced so just in case that you guys you know misunderstood this for a um a bad paint job okay so this is velociraptor blue looks brilliant i love it looks incredible the scaling is done perfectly um the sickle shaped claw it's not curved or pointing upwards enough for me but let's have a comparison with um, the older Velociraptor or should I say the standard Velociraptor from Takaratomi which one do you guys prefer? this definitely looks more realistic in terms of the eyes especially um, this one looks brilliant as well um, I love this sickle shaped claw but this could be a little bit exaggerated so this is definitely nice okay this is very nice but so far so far my most favorite figure it's the mosasaurus okay the next figure next figure let's have a look at the meat eating bowl okay beautiful packaging once again i'm definitely keeping these boxes do not throw them away because i think they look brilliant Okay, let's open this up. Cutting this open. The only bad thing about this is that they do not come with a collector's card. Because usually Takara Tomi will give you a free card inside each box which contains information about the dinosaur. So that is a pity. So this is the Carnotaurus, the meat-eating bowl. The, the legs are very very tight so you need to release it why is it not moving okay there you go come on yeah there you go now it is loose so two points of articulation on the tail let's take a look at a face sculpt um Takara Tomi likes to create these horns right over here pointing sideways and they look like you know um what do you call this crest instead of horns because they are very flat take a look at this very flat but still looks good some nice patterns right here very nice details 
on the scaling job. Brilliant. At the bottom, it says Universal Studios and Amblin. Okay. I love this color. This color combination is actually pretty good, but it does not reflect the Conotaurus in the movie in terms of colors. Yep. Brilliant. Wow. Tiny little arms, in case that you guys do not know, the Conotaurus has shorter arms than a T-Rex. That is a really poor thing. Just imagine him trying to wear a T-shirt. It is almost impossible. Okay, let's have a comparison with the older Conotaurus, shall we? Okay, um, let's have a look. They look very, very similar. This sculpt right over here, it's, it has a more squarish head as compared to um, the Jurassic World version, which is more accurate as you guys know. Um, the Carnotaurus has a very squarish face. Tiny little arms, let's try to do a handshake. Is it possible without kissing um, each other? Nope, it is almost impossible. You have to go sideways like this and try to shake your hands from the side. Okay, <laughs> alright, um, yeah, so this is the Conotaurus as compared to, they look very similar, I think they are using the same sculpt, except for um, the head, uh, are they the same? They look exactly the same, maybe I'm just being too sensitive. Okay, the next figure, Tyrannosaurus Rex. Our last figure of the day, my most favorite dinosaur in Jurassic Park franchise, Rexy. This is the old Rexy from all the way from 1993. Yes, this Rexy is very, very old now. Okay, let's cut this open. Oh, first, let's have a look at the box. Same stuff. Mouth closed, mouth open. Okay, let's unbox this bad boy. Wow, I must say this looks brilliant. This definitely looks brilliant. It is huge. This is big. As compared to um, the, the normal T-Rex, this is nice. Wow, Rexy looks accurate. I mean accurate. <laughs> what is accurate? I, I don't even know. Okay, so this is Rexy. It looks brilliant. The head sculpt is just amazing. You can see the nostrils. You can see the face sculpt. Looks very similar to Rexy. You can see, that's Rexy right over there. They look very, very similar. Okay? Sakara told me Rexy. Jurassic World Rexy. I mean, this is also Jurassic World Rexy. Brilliant! Nicely done, but the arms, they look kind of um, long. Yep, for a T-Rex, this looks too long. Slightly too long, but still looks brilliant. I love this splash of light uh, brown right over here. Some very, very nice texture on the legs and but like claws. Looks like an eagle or a peacock um, claws. Beautiful. Very beautiful. Okay, let's have a comparison with. Oh, we have two more right here. This is actually Velociraptor, but that's fine because we already have compared it with um, this Velociraptor right here. Let's compare it with the Red Rex. Let's have a size comparison. Yes! Yes, the Jurassic World T-Rex is actually way longer, okay? Let's have a comparison again. Yep, check this out. The tail actually stretches beyond the one from Red Rex. So this is brilliant. In terms of the head sculpt, this looks very dorky. And this looks awesome. Bri beautiful. And it comes with this little, I mean, it is way better for sure. 
this looks slightly overweight huge tummy you ate too much food and Rexy looks very fit and slim yep awesome stuff very awesome so which is wait a minute my camera almost fell so which is my most favorite figure from Takara Tomi wow this is tough hmm I am going with the T-Rex as my most favorite figure because I think it looks very accurate second most favorite should be the Mosasaurus um, followed by Sticky Moloch, Velociraptor, and Indoraptor. I l like the Conotaurus the least, but I still love all these figures because I think they look very, very awesome. What about you guys? Do let me know which is the best figure in your own opinion, okay? Please let me know. Which one do you think is the best figure from this set? Okay? Whew. Whew. Yep. So these are all the figures. So do let me know which is your most favorite figure from this set. And tell me which one is the best. Okay? For me, I'm still going with the T-Rex and the Mosasaurus. Alright, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your family or leave me a comment and I'll try my best to reply to you but recently I've been super busy so I'm not able to reply to every single one of you. Um, yeah, and if you're new here, I am Dan, I upload dinosaur videos every single day so make sure you subscribe if you like dinosaurs and Jurassic World and don't forget to turn on the notifications um, by pressing the little bell icon right below so that you will receive a message whenever I upload a video, okay? Goodbye! I will see you guys tomorrow, but before you go, as usual, check out the previous videos right here. This is just awesome. Oh, Sticky, you look so cute. You are the hero in the movie. <laughs>